we love our sponsors like EH Financial. Visit them online at ehfinancial.com. Sponsor us and we'll promote you on the show too. Email info at crowncitynews.com to learn more. Now for the morning buzz, President Trump says he thinks Susan Rice, former President Obama's national security advisor, may have committed a crime by unmasking the names of Trump, his team, and other Americans in intelligence briefings. Yeah, she says that she did nothing wrong. Uh, joining us now to discuss this is pundit Mark Ang, and he's going to talk about uh, Chairman Nunes and the fact that he stepped aside from the Russia investigation. So are these two related or not, Mark? I think that uh, the bigger picture question is why is the media not reporting on these key events? I mean, I'm, I'm sitting here completely baffled, but yet I'm not shocked because ABC obviously has some ties to Susan Rice and how is that I, how does she have how, how does she have ties to ABC I believe that um, I think she is married to someone that works there a okay. top executive there so that, that that to me is uh, um, a pretty close tie if you if you um, if you ask me well yeah, what do you say about those who say that this uh, that the president is really just playing diversion politics? In, in bringing these two I'm glad you bring that up because that is what I've been reading. I try to read stuff on both sides and really that is just so disingenuous. Are we going to ignore a whole slew of facts just because we are on politically on the other side? I mean, these are facts. These are not, you know, I, I mean, they could call it alternative facts, but at the end of the day, this is verified to be true and accurate. Mark, I'm wondering if every presidency hasn't used this to their advantage inappropriately um, since since we've been able to pull this intelligence and they just got caught well i think that there's a lot more scrutiny honestly around republicans and if someone like george bush or uh you know if if this was if um if if george bush had done this to president obama this would have been a huge news story, maybe blown blown out to uh, Watergate proportions. So oh, if, I think it is still a Watergate. It may be. We yeah. don't know because the investigation is still going on. And, of course, uh, Chairman Nunes has now stepped aside after he said he would not. Uh, you know, Chairman Nunes, who has repeatedly said that he would not step aside in the Russian investigation and all of this, has now, as of yesterday, stepped aside and now he's no longer going to be part. I'm well, wondering if it was because he actually went directly to the president with some of the information, so maybe he thought he muddied the situation and step, stepped out. Well, it's a little beyond that, because right after he uh, announced his, his, he didn't even tell the committee that he was not going to, he was going to step down, but right after that happened, it was announced that he is actually being investigated by the Ethics Committee for uh, to going to the exactly. White House. So that may exactly. be an issue. So uh, clearly there was no possibility of him uh, being an impartial uh, chairman of the committee. Well, well, that's just it, right? Republicans, the moment that they there may be some muddying of the waters, as you said, Mary, um, they step aside and they say, we don't want to confuse the situation and they honorably right. remove it's themselves. It's not important that he's there versus the investigation continue or... Exactly. And so I think that's um, that in itself, if, if the liberal media is going to uh, put attention on Chairman Nunes uh, stepping aside, uh, that's, that in itself could be construed as a, a diversion from the true situation at hand, which is someone, Susan Rice here, who is one of the, I mean, reports directly to, pr to, to the president, was doing some funny business and accessing information she shouldn't have in the name of political partisanship and, and politicking. Yeah, I'm also curious about um, pardoning, giving pardon to General Flynn and what that means and what he knows and um, well they're what so far not interested in doing that but let's go back to your, your issue about Susan Rice isn't there still an ongoing question because she certainly admitted the unmasking but she said that it was in the performance of her duties and her responsibilities and isn't that the question that's still being debated I mean the fact is it's still being debated as to whether or not there was actually a crime or was it her job 
I think that there's a line there that has been crossed where it's your job to know things, but if you are expending energy and resources beyond that, beyond that scope, then that is an issue, and one can look at it as politica, political partisanship using the, the office as a way to gain advantage over the opposing political party, which I think is very unethical. Mark Ang, thanks so much for being on with us today. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Mary. Absolutely. Thank you, Derek. Thank you. So coming up, after working hard and putting your money into Social Security, is the government stealing from you? I don't know. We'll find out. CCN Money and Market Segment star Derek Giorgino tells us his thoughts on how long we'll have Social Security next.